Well, John McGuinness has had a pretty disappointing day so far. He'll be hoping to be ultra competitive in this superbike race. And he's never had a big bike win around the Dundrod circuit. He's looking very relaxed, though. Alongside him on the front row, Guy Martin, who notched up his first international success, of course, today. Best result for him since his third place at the TT in 05. Raymond Porter's got his DMRR Honda on the front row. And Ian Hutchison has put the Makadu Kawasaki alongside him. On the second row, Ian Locker, Jason Griffiths, Martin Finnegan and Bruce Anstey. We're on board with Porter. They watch for the lights. Brace yourself because this one is going to be quick. A very smooth start indeed from John McGuinness. Guy Martin's got off to a good one too, as has Ian Hutchison. But it's John McGuinness who leads along the flying kilo. Guy Martin right there too. Hutchison third, Raymond Porter fourth. Ryan Farquhar in fifth with Locker in sixth. Raymond Porter on the brakes down into Leatham's town. He's got three machines in front of him. The second group. All the way cleanly. The HM plant Honda of McGuinness is in front, but not for long. Look at Martin. Guy Martin takes the race lead on the run to Deer's Leap. Oh, it's so fast through there. And it's quick here too. Upwards of 160 miles an hour. Dropping back to about 140 through the door in the right-hand corner. We're on board with Porter. Out towards Joey's windmill. And then they accelerate away to Jordan's Cross and eventually to Wheeler's Corner. Raymond Porter providing some stunning onboard pictures. Well, I said the roads were completely dry, not quite. There's still a little stream running down the track there. Out of wheelers. It's Guy Martin who leads. John McGuinness in second, having a better run in this one. Hutchison's in third. Raymond Porter fourth. Ian Locker fifth. Then it's Ryan Farquhar in sixth. Bruce Anstey in seventh. Trying to go around the outside of his teammate. All jostling for position at the hairpin. On board with Porter, and he's lost out the locker. So Porter goes from fifth to fourth. Farquhar and Anstey, the two Taz men. We're on board with Martin Finnegan. What a great view this is. That's what it feels like to ride the Dundrod circuit. Absolutely terrifying. Martin Finnegan with his knee right on the grass. Through the start finish they go. Along the flying kilo. John McGuinness now gets back in front of Guy Martin. And just look at Locker. Locker's got himself up to third. On board with Porter. Doesn't want to let the front four get away from him. Six there is Adrian Archibald. 15 is Paul Hunt. 17 is James McBride. 16, John Burroughs. But it's John McGuinness, the former 250cc British champion, who leads the big bike race at the Ulster. 31 there is Fabrice McGuay, the Frenchman. And into the pits comes the Scotsman, Keith Amore. Race over for him. But it's only hotting up at the front. This is a sensational superbike race. Porter and Hutchison together again. Through the water. And I think up ahead, Ian Locker's got ahead of Guy Martin. So Locker, the Welshman, now takes second. There he is on bike two. So it's the Englishman, John McGuinness. Then the Welshman, now living in Dramara, Northern Ireland. Ian Locker, then two more Englishmen, Guy Martin and Ian Hutchison, and the Ulsterman, Raymond Porter, bringing up the rear. Can the local man get into the shake-up? 
Locker tries it right up the inside of John McGuinness. I think he's going to make it, you know. Ian Locker takes the race lead. And problems for Bruce Anstey on the Taz Suzuki. Engine problems. And that's a big disappointment for the local team. At the start finish. Martin and Locker are together. Hutchison and McGuinness are together. Brilliant racing along the flag killer. Oh, a big wobble from Guy Martin at around 185 miles an hour. Wow, Guy Martin got away with that, didn't he? On board again with Porter. I think that's McGuinness now ahead of him. Bruce Anstey retires to the pits. His engine, provided by Crescent Suzuki, not even making two laps. It's fast and furious at the front. It's Locker from Martin. And Hutchison's there. And Raymond Porter takes fourth past John McGuinness. It's a real scary corner, that. Over 175 miles an hour. But this is even more frightening. Look at Guy Martin wobbling all over the place along the flying kilo. Fully committed. But it certainly hasn't shaken Martin. He leads this race. Locker second. Raymond Porter now third. Where is Ian Hutchison gone? He's disappeared. John McGuinness is in fourth. So Ian Hutchison has a problem. At the hairpin, it's Martin on the AIM Yamaha. Locker on the Stobart Honda. Porter on the DMRR Honda. And John McGuinness on the HM plant machine. Then in fifth place, it's the Taz Suzuki of Rand Farquhar. Followed by Martin Finnegan. We're on board with him now. Around the hairpin he goes. Connor Cummins having a pretty good run as a newcomer at the Ulster. Big talent for the future. Through the start finish again. Martin Locker and Porter. This is a great ride by Raymond Porter, I have to say. He's really got himself into the mix. And here's exactly what happened to Ian Hutchison at the Joey's Windmill section of the course. Foot comes out. Problem for him. And he's a retirement. There he is into the pits. So the 24-year-old from England still leads the 42-year-old from Wales, Ian Locker. Raymond Porter third, John McGuinness fourth. And this is a great shot to show you exactly how much road is between the next group. The last time we looked, Ryan Farquhar was ahead of Finnegan, but not any longer. On board again with Finnegan on the Claffy Honda. Bouncing all over the place. Right-hander down into Cochrane's Town. It's still a hundred miles an hour corner. Back on board with Raymond Porter. Past Joey's windmill. Raymond Porter pushing hard, trying to close in on the two front men, Locker and Martin. He's edging ever closer. And Raymond Porter makes a brilliant pass on Ian Locker to take second. Superb racing from Porter. Wow, this young man continues to impress me all the time. Around wheelers. Porter, who had a, an accident last year after a super win at the Northwest 200, told me if he hadn't had that win at the Northwest, he may have considered packing in the sport after he had the crash. But he believes he's been given a talent and he's going to make the most of it. And I tell you what, he's certainly putting himself in the shop window here. Oh, he's pushing so hard, Porter. That little wobble may cost him a place to locker. Finnegan still holding off Ryan Farquhar. Finnegan, who had a hat trick at the mid antrum came here in pretty good shape. Guy Martin, a little bit of a gap now from Raymond Porter, who in turn has opened up a bit of a gap from Ian Locker. 
Crowd is missed a great shot. Helmet cap, courtesy of James McBride. Through the trees, past the houses, people flashing past. Guy Martin looking for his second win of the day. But John McGuinness is a retirement. Well, you can see the disappointment there. Connor Cummins on 19, still going well. But it looks like these two men will do battle for the top step of the podium. John McGuinness, he looked pretty well placed there early on in the race. There you go, three riders, Connor Cummins, I think. Third place, Ian Locker, still don't rule him out, mind you. Ian Locker has had eight superbike wins around this Dundrod circuit, and only one man has had more than that, Joey Dunlop. Guess how many he had? 25. Joey Dunlop, the man who holds the record for the number of wins, not only around the Ulster Grand Prix, but also around Dundrod. 24 at the Ulster, 24 at Dundrod, making it a total of 48. Back marker getting in the way there a little between Guy Martin and Raymond Porter. Martin Finnegan comes through the start finish onto his last lap. And I can tell you on the last lap that Guy Martin has set a new lap record, an average speed of 130.548 miles per hour. So the record held by Ian Hutchison has been broken. Cummins comes through. By 52 in front of him is Paul Cranston. Around the hairpin and accelerating away on board with James McBride. Not long to go for these two and Porter is still right there with Guy Martin. On board with Porter. He's going to give us a great view of this right to the line. Back wheel in the air at the hairpin. Good line though from Guy Martin. Just blocked him right out. Finnegan and Farquhar still having a good dice. Through the quarries, it's going to be Guy Martin. Guy Martin takes his second win of the day and the feature race, the Ulster Grand Prix. Well, the biggest win of his career so far. Raymond Porter with a super second place and yet another podium for Hinlocker.